So it is not a good morning so far. Um, it's actually a little bit past three, <clears throat> and I'm just in a lot of pain. Um, I don't know. So I got Rosie in green bed, and she was just nestled into my neck. So I was trying to get a video of it, but I couldn't. So. Here is Rosie laying next to me. I don't know, you can't really see my legs. And here is Rosie playing with the string of my camera, because that's what she does. But, um, I'll see you guys later. So I tried to just get up and do a few things. And, um, I'm making oatmeal, but I looked out of my back door, and the kitten Thelma is here. So I went down and I got her some treats and I went to go pet her and she's soaking wet because it's raining. So now I'm trying to go get a like an old towel or something just to dry her off so she doesn't get sick or something. So sad. I'll show you guys what's going on. I can put um, the towel under the barbecue for her, so I'm hoping she just goes in there. Because I think that's where she hides a lot of the time. So hopefully she can do that. So I just figured I would actually like to talk to you guys now that I made way too much oatmeal, by the way. Um, now that I'm actually up, it sucks, but... Um, and not every day that I'm waking up like this, but like a, a decent handful of days I do wake up um, needing to <clears throat> needing to take um, a pain medication so that I feel um, like my body feels well enough to get up. And it's really frustrating. I'm not going to lie, I was crying this morning because I just wanted to get out of bed. I felt like I hate waking up later than like one and I woke up at like 2 45 and it just makes me feel bad because I feel like I just waste the day in bed but my parents at this point I guess don't wake me up if I'm with Adrian he doesn't wake me up like everybody just lets me sleep but it's like hard because like I want to be able to like not waste the day but I also feel like shit when I wake up so it's just frustrating um but I'm up now I put the towel out, like I told you guys, me and Rosie are just kind of sitting um, in my kitchen. Uh, my parents are with my grandma, my dad's mom, um, the one that's in the nursing home right now, they're with her right now. Me and Adrian might be going, uh, but they were texting me and saying she was kind of combative. So I don't want to necessarily subject Adrian to that, but we might go for like five minutes. Um, and then he just texted me that he got tickets. Um, so me and a lot of his family uh, can go to a soccer game. 
a major soccer game for Real Madrid um, in August, which is crazy. It's it's going to be so interesting seeing a soccer game like live. It's so interesting. I'm, and they're big on soccer, so it's just going to be so much fun. Um, and then I have a surprise for you guys. Not really a surprise, but I'm finally going to be able to tell you something that we've been working on for like six weeks. And um, it's been part of the reason why I've had such like, you know, like, we like up and down, like emotional problems for the past like six weeks. Um, this is the reason why, but it's probably ending on a good note. And I can tell you guys in a few days, um, or a week or something, what it is. I'm so excited, so. I just felt like I didn't really talk about too much yesterday, so I wanted to just update you guys. And um, hopefully my parents come back soon because it's four now, so. I, yeah, I hope they come back soon. And then Adrian's gonna get me, and tonight we are going to see the Avengers at midnight, so. Yay! It's just cute. I'm actually just going to make this. I don't know why I'm craving um, salt, which is probably pots related. So um, I'm going to do that. And then we're leaving in like two hours to go to the movie theater to see the adventure. So decent, decent night. Um, either I'll talk to you tomorrow or today about this stuff with my grandma. I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow about it. Um, so. It went well, just a like very um, emotional situation. So I'll talk to you guys soon. So I just put in ch um, chickpea pasta. Um, so yeah, that is cooking. And then I'm gonna be putting, when I'm done and I'm draining this, I'm gonna be putting the miso ginger broth and bone broth into this and then add the add the chickpea pasta. So this is one half of a um, healthy and powerful um, dinner. So. Right, so it is all cooked and I am going to be putting it in the broth. And the end result, it is miso and ginger soup or broth with bone broth and chickpea pasta. And I know it looks so unappetizing, but it's so good and it's so, so, so nourishing. Um, yeah, so this is going to actually be amazing, even though it doesn't look like it is.